We're up here in Winchester at one of your garden design jobs, complete garden overhaul, uh, designed obviously by yourself and the construction by E. Williams Landscapes. Talk to us about the concepts of the design. Okay, um, it's quite typical of a lot of suburban gardens really in terms of it's wider than it is deeper. So the, the main principle was to really make it appear deeper because uh, all the garden is on view from the, ho from the house the whole time so there's nothing, nowhere to hide effectively. So a lot of the tricks we've used is to make the garden feel deeper and you can see where we've kind of used uh, the strong banding paving running out from the house at 90 degrees out to the back of the garden to really lend your eye and lead it out um, to make the garden feel deeper. We've got a dark background as well, so dark fencing helps the, the boundaries recede so it doesn't feel quite so visually intrusive, um, again making it feel a bit bigger. Um, we've got the pergola t to one side and effectively the garden's divided up in these three sections. So we've got the kind of pergola area which is a uh, dining, lounge, sofa area. This middle section where we're sat which is kind of your feature seating area, uh, chill out area with the kind of banding and the chamomile between the paving and then the third section behind us is the, the lawn area which is the kind of more practical space for, for flexible family use um, and so on we're planting around to soften the boundaries. Now you've said that about the fencing at the back, that makes a lot of sense because yeah. it's something I hadn't really noticed but it does soften the the view of the back of the garden yeah. you're not instantly hit by like something kind of like quite harsh yeah um, yeah and just um, just also by using the slatted panels as opposed to the solid panels it just also breaks it up from being a very solid mass to a bit more kind of um broken up like i say and it's better for the hedging behind it because the air and light can go through pass through the fence we supplied our Christchurch Pearl porcelain for this job and you've actually ran it sort of atypically to what a lot of people would do you've gone lengthways from the house yeah, so the short it. edge is at the house yeah. and the long edge leads you away and yeah is that coming into what you said about the depth yeah very much so it's just a bit of a trickery really you want to play on that kind of length to really accent accentuate the depth um, we haven't got the depth like I say for the plot so the idea is to use a bit of visual trickery to make the garden feel deeper than it is and also, just by setting the pavement apart and just having this chamomile planted between, again, you're just really accentuating those kind of tram line effects uh, that runs out from uh, 90 degrees from the house. Yeah, it's lovely that looking this sort of stuff. I didn't realise it was chamomile, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's really, really nice. So, you know, this can be walked on and with slightly crushed, you get this kind of scent, and this nice scent will go through. And with low maintenance, you know, you can kind of clip it, but it'll stay low with some flowering in the summer so. So you've got a, a sensory experience with the smell as well. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So um, we were talking earlier off camera and you had mentioned that sort of a part of big part of what you do is trying to maximize um, the outdoor living aspect of your clients homes yeah so th that's something that kind of you've got in the forefront of your mind of every design is it yeah it's very much so more and more you know these outdoor rooms as, as they've known outdoor spaces um, are very much that in terms of they're not just gardens anymore um, it's probably a bit more of a traditional approach where you know the modern living is recognizing the benefits of outdoor rooms outdoor spaces where people can go for socializing working even you know dining um, just general chill and kind of and that whole emphasis on well-being and kind of back to nature is really helping people get out of their houses and into the gardens so it's really maximizing and that's what we've done with this plot effectively really maximize the space so it actually it feels way bigger than it did when we started And it's, it's real um, satisfying for us when you see a garden built like this because, like you said, I've, I've noticed with your jobs, a lot of the time you do kind of almost split a garden into yeah. rooms um, and then it allows a multi-purpose use of the space and yeah. you just know the owners are going to get more use out of this garden now yeah, than, than that's before. that's it really. And it's just zoning it as well, so we've got these clear zones and like I say, you've got really strong visual connections to the house, so um, it was really important to really marry the two together so we've chosen kind of red from the interiors as an accent which runs through the garden as well so the red chairs and the red pots 
and just picking up so you've got that visual loom in house and garden all the time. And we, um, we kind of went to great lengths to get this, the pavement right for you, didn't we? Because there was something you picked out first of all, which ended up being in short supply, unfortunately. The factory sort of couldn't quite keep up with the volumes that they were selling. Um, so we ended up having to sort of search high and low for a substitute. And yeah. I think I was at a, a tile show and showing you some pictures of some Italian stuff that we could potentially get in and, and this one popped up and um, I really love it. It looks, it looks cracking. Yeah, it works really well. Yeah, I think it's really nice. We wanted something that was a bit warmer than just a grey. So just something a bit of a, a pearl, yeah, kind of pearl kind of beige to it. Um, so it just warms the space a bit more and it sits really nicely with that kind of the warmer grey, which is obviously the square format where uh, the other one is a rectangular format. So. so was there any particular ethos behind combining a square and a rectangle? Uh, yeah, it's just a, yeah, just a design intent in terms of just making a statement between those two contrasting paving. So it didn't look like we had a sea of paving of all the same, just to break up those spaces again. So we've used, uh, you know, the lighter rectangular slab in the, in the main kind of social spaces and then the darker slab almost kind of wraps around the house. So. Yeah, so again, creating those rooms that you yeah, were talking about. Yeah. Nice, very nice. Um, well, absolute pleasure working with you, Neil. It's um, really nice to finally get up here and see everything finished. E. Williams done a cracking job. Yep. Um, looking forward to doing some more stuff with you. Yeah, and thanks, Craig. Thanks for your support as always and stuff. You know, really, you know, really delighted with the end result and stuff, and it's worked really well. So, oh, I appreciate we'll it, mate. Crack open the wine, then, shall we? Yeah, let's um, <laughs> let's get going. It's about time. Isn't it? <laughs>